This is Europe. And this is the buff-tailed bumblebee. We have bumblebees here, 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 and here. This is very good because bumblebees are very good pollinators, including for crops like strawberries. In fact, they're so good that we've learned to raise them in boxes and move them to the crops where they're needed. Great, right? There's only one problem. The bumblebees here are not the same as those here or here. They look the same, but they're not. Each species is adapted to living in its own environment and transport from one side of Europe to the other may not be such a good idea. A CSIC team has just shown that commercial bumblebees are hybridizing with local bumblebee populations. Because of this hybridization, we may be losing local adaptations, such as to the heat of Spanish summers. The consequences of hybridization are difficult to prevent, except by regulating the importation of non-local subspecies. So what? Will this be catastrophic for strawberries? No. Norway already prohibits selling bumblebees that are not native and locally raised. The large international companies have stopped operating there, but three local companies have appeared to supply native bumblebee subspecies. Therefore, while local subspecies are conserved, the local economy is also improved. Even better, transport of bumblebee diseases, which can hitch rides in bumblebee boxes, between countries is reduced. So what do we want you to do? If you're a politician, regulate bravely. The local economy and ecology will thank you. If you are a farmer, demand certified native and locally produced bumblebees. And if you're a company or entrepreneur in the field, dare to market locally raised native bumblebees. Thank you.